So I have four pieces of one and a quarter inch diameter dowel that I'm using for a project and I need to drill about two to three inch depth holes into either end of all of them. And the challenge is to um, keep the hole in the center of the dowel and uh, perfectly in line with the long axis of the dowel and that is perpendicular to the cutoff end. Uh, I could do that freehand with a drill but uh, I'd be hard pressed to get one of them uh, exactly perpendicular, let alone eight of them. Um, and I thought of making a jig for uh, a handheld drill like this, but unfortunately uh, drills like this just don't really have any flat, nice reference surfaces to set up a jig. Somebody might disagree with me there, but um, just that not, not that I came up with. The drill press which is the obvious answer, uh, just isn't, neither of my two of them are uh, tall enough to accommodate uh, such a long piece of stock. Uh, they're be bench top models, not four standing ones. So my thought is to make a jig that references the nice flat horizontal surface here and has a nice 90 degree angle so that the uh, dowel could be held off to the side of the drill press table and then just swing the head of the drill press in line with the end of the dowel. The sides of the drill press table and stand surprisingly are not vertical, at least in reference to the horizontal surfaces of the uh, drill press table and the stand. This also is not 90 degrees. Uh, I also thought of using the side of my workbench that I made here, but uh, it's not exactly uh, even here. Um, not a great surface to reference. Here's a quick sketch. Um, this piece of wood would lay horizontally on the edge of the drill press table, which of course is a nice flat horizontal reference surface. And this other piece of wood, which would be attached to it at exactly a 90 degree angle, would have this V groove cut down the length of it, which would center any round stock in it if it's just clamped or held up against it firmly in the groove. So I forgot to record this part where I laid out the notch on the end of the piece of wood, but I did it by dividing it in two by drawing one line down the middle and then just drawing two additional lines at 45 degree angles with a combination square. Uh, and they just have to intersect the first line just anywhere other than at the edge of the piece of wood. So before you clamp this on the drill press table, you can also use it to find the center of your uh, dowel or round stock. And it's pretty simple, just um, put it down in the notch right there. And the center line that's lined up with the uh, vertex of the notch, just line up your square with that and then 
follow that line, extend it onto the center of the dowel, and then you have a diameter. Rotate it, um, really any angle, but 90 degrees works pretty well. Strike another line, then you have a center, and then you can just refine that by maybe taking one or two more passes. And there you go. You have a center for drilling. That was a little bit off. Okay, that worked pretty well.